We are back. I just finished 143 hearts. Let us see. I didn't really want to set up uh, earlier just because it seems like a waste of time. Let's see what teleport options we have. Something I haven't used. Um, Phoenix Lair? Sure. Let's do that one. Beep boop beep. Damn, that looks pretty cool. Chilling with Brian Twitcher. Some of these NPC names. Alright. Oh, fuck. Whatever. Let's see. I've completed 2,118. So, I'm about on par um, for the Shadow Die Drop rate. So, yeah, the lack of broadcast makes sense up until now, you know. And then another 2,000, that's like, you know, the next margin where you expect to get something. So, as far as me being like, oh, I would have wanted something in the next 700, that's just not feasible with the, the numbers, the statistics. All right, so let us jump in. Very nice, off the bat. Amulet of Fury T. We are looking at 150. Hopefully we get a puzzle skipping ticket soon to add as a counter. So we can get a broad um, sort of track on the puzzle skipping tickets since they're pretty big money right now. <clears throat> Just finished sell, uh, buying all of the tomb shrooms that I talked about in the uh, well, the vid that's going up right now. Actually, I tried to post two vids at once, and my and then I closed my laptop, and one of the vids went through, and the other one stopped um, posting. I guess you would call it, and so I just pulled it up and resent it. So it should be sending right now. Um, but in that video, I talk about how I do tube, how I bought up all the tomb shrooms that people made during double XP since the potion of sun dry went up. The bean price for the potion of the growth potion sun dry went up. So hopefully, I'm expecting those prices to increase a lot more. But I just finished buying um, all the tomb shrooms. You know, the price was already the bottom price was already starting to rise because uh you know double xp is done so i've got about 400 mil worth of tomb shrooms in my bank and i'm expecting to sell that for 600 mil i don't even think that's a liberal estimate right there four rerolls There's also a couple other, um, you know how you play the game long enough and there's certain like little items that sell for a lot and then you try and get a cut in on that market. It's actually a pretty fun part of the game. It's its own little mini game trying to find, uh, well obviously flipping, but trying to find those items that'll give you the best margins. And usually it's not the not the big items, not the items that are traded a lot. But I have a couple other investments that I have ongoing as like a passive income. You can slow buy over the course of a week and then sell at the end of the week for 20 mil profit. So it's sort of like a free... Uh, Zero's crest every week, something like that. So if you're ever wondering, if you have a hundred mil, um, just chilling, and you don't know what to do with it, do some research. It's not as hard as it looks. Also, when you're doing quests, and you know how 
as long as you're not an Iron Man, you go to the GE and you just insta buy all the quest items, you know, random things like mackerel or pike, you know, raw pike, the stuff that you would almost have never seen before, or at least never fished yourself. Yeah. You need those for certain quests, and uh, you'll insta buy them, and occasionally, you know, since no one fishes for these things, you'll insta buy them for like 10k each or something like that, like 10k for a raw pike. Um, I think a year ago, I had to purchase two um, cooked mackerel for uh, some sort of quest. I had to purchase two cooked mackerel, and I went to insta buy them, and they didn't insta buy for thirty three k each. Basically, I had to pay fifty k for two cooked mac for um two about a hundred k for two cooked mackerel, so fifty k each. And as soon as I finished that quest, I bought up raw mackerel, cooked a thousand of them, and sold them for uh, about forty k each. Um, it took a, it took a very long time, and I had to adjust my my, uh, my prices quite a lot. But I ended up selling all of them for a hefty chunk, just because people need them for quests, and they would rather pay eighty k than have to look up on the wiki where to f fish for pike or fish for um, mackerel, and what to use and all that stuff. Or to, you know, ask a clanny where in the hell mackerel are. <clears throat> 164, 112. All right. It has been quite a bit since uh, a broadcast. I've also never gotten a backstab cape. And I feel like I haven't really looked up the drop rates for backstabs, but... I feel like since the price is so much lower than a Barrow's die, I should have gotten one by now. You know, backstab cape, I think it's less than 2 mil or something like that. It's just weird that I haven't gotten a backstab cape, but I've gotten a shadow die. Well, I guess that's how RNG works. And it's not like I'm complaining. It's more of a log thing, I guess. And a broadcast, sort of like, hey, clan members, I'd be doing clues. Check out this cape I got. But I don't even know if it looks cool. You know what I really want? An abomination cape. That random cape from that random boss in that dragon kin quest that you can go back and do for a shot at this cape. This abomination cape, like... It's not even listed in boss guides. Um, the abomination. You know, you check for bosses for XP, bosses for money, um, the best team bosses, stuff like that. The abomination isn't in any of those lists, so people just forget about it. But then there's this cape that's 800 mil, probably a bill since there are so few of them. That's probably not even an accurate price. So if you are released into the game, there's some guy out there that wants an abomination cape that has been had an order in the GE for so long. He's just increased it by 100 mil increments um, and then sort of sat on that, sort of like I did for my Santa. I increased the price by 10 mil increments every couple of days until I uh, slow bought it for 8 I slow bought the hat for 840. Uh wait, no, 830. Yeah, I bought it for 830. It's 863 right now, so yeah, decent. And I expect that to go a lot higher. Also the scythe, I think uh 385. No, 485, I think I bought it for. 400, 485. Um but the that was way above mid, um, so the mid price has increased a whole lot. 
So if that margin holds up, then it's over over 500 mil right now. But it looks decent. But at the end of the day, what are you gonna do with it? You could um, keepsake it and use it over a scythe. But the scythe by itself, like plus you can dye the scythe. So you could get a shadow dyed scythe, which looks a lot better and costs a lot more than this um, Christmas scythe. But eventually, you know, people that have scythes will quit the game, and the number of scythes that are active scythes that are actively traded in the game will go down, and that's how. You know, that's how rares get to be the way they are. Um, it's not like anyone's destroying them. But there's just less people actively trading them. They're, they're dead accounts with billions sitting on them right now. And they'll never play again. <clears throat> 30 to go. I'm literally just give me masters. I'm I've been lulled back into complacency for hearts because of a uh, lack of broadcast. But just give me a bunch of masters because I've gotten a barrows. I've gotten a shadow. At this point for hearts, there's no real new territory except just more money. Of course, the third age and the backstab cape and all that. But I'm not, you know, I don't really have a goal to complete the log. I don't really care for that title because at the end of the day I can only display one title so the fact that it's chilling in my uh, my list of available titles doesn't really help me very much. What I do want is one of those big boy dies so hit me up with all the masters. There it is. 49 so got or circa 50 masters and uh, I might go complete them. Um, I have a decent amount of treasure trail points. Not as many as I did last time. I could, I think I might have 1500 or something like that. That's only like 15 elites. Um, I have five elites in my bag. I don't know. Well, there's another master and four puzzle skippings. That was a sexy clue. The last 10. Come on, Nelly. Roll, roll. Oof. Killing me, all right. There's another master. And I guess I'll just be happy with that. All right, Mr. Mr. Twitcher. You are no help, none at all. I kill you. Oh, that's an Eret. That, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't kill that with this scythe. Wait, maybe. Are you melee? Yep, you're melee. This is so slow. Uh, oh, hey, I have an Amulet of Fury. I, if he tags up the next era, I'm so dead. Come on. All right, Quake, Assault. The stats on this Scythe, 22 damage, 110 accuracy. It is trash. I have no healing. Uh, what if I had gotten purple sweets in one of these? I would so use those. Alright, Berserk Aura. Give me something good. You're going to double up my damage. Or not Aura. Just Berserk. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. If this was actually made out of peppermint, this thing would be broke. I'm fighting an Eret with a peppermint stick right now. The boy thick. Ah, all right. I'm about to die. Give me away. All right. Well, I'm gonna.
probably grind out another 15 uh, 